This is the Neapolitan Flip Coffee Pot or Neapolitano or Coco Melon. I am fairly new this type of coffee maker, but I'll try to demonstrate its features briefly. First of all, it's made of four different parts. The first section is the water boiling pot, then there is the filter section that is made of two parts, the filter and its top section, and then there is the other top half that is eventually the bottom half that will attain, contain the brewed coffee. So first you fill the pot with water, then you insert the filter section inside the pot. There is usually a small notch in the filter section that will align with the hole in the pot so that no possible hot water will only come out from the foreign side of the thing. Then you fill the filter with fine ground coffee but not too fine because the holes in the filter are relatively big compared to more modern coffee makers. As the screw on top filter has a bit space inside, you have to create a slight mound on top, on top of this filter to fill the filter completely. Then finally screw on the top filter and fit the pots together. There is no screws or anything, it has the friction fit. Now many people know what is a mocha pot and I've heard of a Bialetti's mocha express. However, it's not so common knowledge to what was used before mocha express and espresso machines. That was obviously the Napolitana, often known as Cucumella. Napolitan was invented in 1820 by a Parisian tinsmith Jean Louis Moritz, so it's actually French. He chose the name because he liked Naples. The device quickly became popular everywhere in Italy. It is important to note that while the newer Mocha Espresso, and espresso machines use water pressure to brew the coffee, this device instead is just gravity to extract the coffee. It's slightly hard to notice when the water is boiling, but you, you should be able to see some water coming out from the front hole. That means the water is boiling and you should turn off the stove. Now you need to carefully flip the pot and well the menu of this particle coffee maker says that you should wait for 5 minutes, but to me at least with this coffee it looks like more like roughly 10 minutes, which actually some other sources agree with. I'm actually pur purposefully missing something here, that is the cupatil, a small paper cone that was already uh, described by the original inventor. It goes over this pot and the idea of the cone is to preserve the aroma of the coffee while it drips into the tank. 